You can read more about many of the stories in this week's show in the current issue of Mohawk Valley Living Magazine, available the first of the month at hundreds of advertiser locations and online at mohawkvalleyliving.com. The Steet Ponte Auto Group in Yorkville and Herkimer and Turnbull Insurance Service since 1866 present Mohawk Valley Living, exploring the arts, culture, and heritage of our region. Good morning and welcome to Mohawk Valley Living. Be sure to get out this season for you pick strawberries. It's a great time for the whole family. Places like Giuliano's in West Schuyler and others are expecting a great year of plump, delicious local strawberries ready for picking. This month's riddle is before the village of Herkimer was Herkimer, it was known as Stone Ridge or the Falls. Also, because of its immigrants and topography, this is what it was commonly called. Do you know the answer? Mail or email by the 25th of this month to be entered in our random drawing for a $200 shopping spree to any one of our advertisers. Mail to 30 Kellogg Street in Clinton or email mohawkbellyliving at hotmail.com. So stay tuned as we travel all around the Mohawk Valley. Yes, boy, you remember? Travis, have you lost your mind? Travis, never lose direction. Travis, so you're running out of time. This month's article has to do with the Oneida National Bank and it's part of a deep history of Utica's financial institutions, which extends all the way back to the founding of the village from Old Fort Schuyler. Uh, Oneida National Bank was first established in 1836, and over the years, it became a fixture in downtown, and it lasted almost 150 years. And it was caught up in a wave of consolidations and mergers, which ended up uh, seeing the, the buildings that uh, uh, were, were built for it still existing, but the bank itself unfortunately disappeared during the 1980s. But the story of how the bank developed over the years, um, the way that it grew, and the way that, um, that it, um, it influenced the people in this area is one that's certainly worthy of preserving, and it's a great story for, uh, for the magazine. So, very pleased to have been able to do that this time around. I'm here at Copernic Park in the Oneida Square Arts District and we are getting ready to fill your summer with free live music. Utica was chosen once again as one of only 15 cities in the entire nation for the Levitt Amp Music Series grant. Ten weeks of free live music is back for a third year. From June 25th all the way through the end of August, every Monday night will be filled with free live music right here at Copernic Park. From 6 to 9, come enjoy a local opener, intermission acts that include kids dance groups and more, and then a regional or national headliner act. This year's lineup features jazz, blues, hip hop, indie rock, surreal Americana, and all female mariachi music and more from all over the country. The Levitt Foundation's philosophy is to re-energize underutilized public spaces and bring them to life through the power of free live music. It's strengthening the social fabric of the communities that surround it. So these concerts are family friendly, they're free, and they're non-alcoholic, so they're great for the whole family. Every Monday night, throughout the summer, right here at Copernic Park. It's not what you take to give, it's here I'm gonna be, I'm making this really my own. Trust your personal, business, and life insurance planning to a local company with over 150 years of serving the community. Turn to Turnbull Insurance. Call today to see what we can do for your family or business. 735-9201 or visit turnbull-insurance.com. 
The Steet Ponte Auto Group is proud to bring Mohawk Valley Living to you each week, serving the Utica area and the Valley with outstanding customer service. In Yorkville at Steet Ponte Ford Lincoln Mazda, Steet Ponte Volkswagen, and Steet Toyota Scion. And in Herkimer at Steet Ponte Chevrolet. Stop in and see why it's so easy to do business with Steet Ponte. This summer, explore Little Falls. Third Thursday, June 21st, enjoy Art Walk with art displays, live music, including Opus Black String Quartet and children's activities all day. And don't miss the exciting Corning Glass Barge coming to Little Falls Marina June 30th to July 1st. And save the date for the fabulous Little Falls Cheese Festival Saturday, July 14th. It's all happening in Little Falls. For over 70 years, Locally owned Whiteman Lumber has been the place to find quality, locally sourced hardwood. Buy direct from the manufacturer through our retail outlet in Portlandville, New York. Learn more at WhitemanLumber.com. If you crave the unique, shop the 50-plus vendors at the Newport Marketplace Top Notch Garden Center, your shopping destination for antiques, vintage, and repurposed handcrafted items and garden supplies. New items arriving every day at the Newport Marketplace Top Notch Garden Center. Open every day on Main Street in Newport. Let the Village Crossing help you put it all together with colorful spring fashion shoes and accessories designed to delight. Spring is in at the Village Crossing in Clinton. Shop the 3,000 square feet spilling over with antiques at the Potting Shed. Specializing in American coins, costume jewelry, and fine jewelry. As well as early lighting, stoneware, china, and furniture. The Potting Shed, over 40 years in the same location at 52 Oriskany Boulevard in Whitesboro. Expecting company? Just call Deansboro Superette. They prepare delicious Middle Eastern platters for any number of guests. Call 841-4377. Many of us have driven by the Utica Cutlery Building hundreds if not thousands of times. So we were excited to get a tour of this company that was founded right here on Noyes Ave in 1910. The company has continuously manufactured pocket knives since that time. Well, the company started in 1910. It's been here over 100 years. It started with a group of businessmen from the Utica area, um, and some of those people are still on the board today. The Matz family is still part of this company, and the Allens family is still part of the company. In the 1940s, during World War II, the company produced uh, parts for uh, the war effort. They produced carbine components and bayonets for the war effort. After that, uh, the company purchased a small flatware company uh, and uh, started making flat flatware around the 50s. We have about 70 employees. Uh, they do different jobs. Some are uh, assembling components, some are um, doing some pre-manufacturing, grinding, polishing, uh, and it's that concerted effort, including shipping, that makes the product and gets it to our customer. These knives, um, they go to different industries. We make specialized products for the electrical industry. We make uh, sporting goods products for those hunters or outdoorsmen or bushcraft type of uh, um, consumers. And we also make a lot of private labels. Some are collectors. Uh, we make limited runs for uh, different uh, businesses. Like uh, we saw the IBEW earlier today. We make collector's pieces as well as everyday items. We ship all over the U.S. Uh, we do export occasionally, uh, but our major uh, business is in the U.S. Yeah, for us, we, especially in the pocket knife industry, we're um, constantly designing and building new products. Um, I showed you a little bit of that uh, UTK line that's relatively new items, and there are um, additional products supplementing that UTK line. They're fold specialized folders that we're designing and building today, which you'll see in uh, 2019. I've been here almost 30 years, and uh, most of the people that are here stay here. Uh, it, it gets into your blood, so we're proud to keep making products in the U.S. Uh, it's difficult for U.S. manufacturers, but we're here. We're happy. We're uh, pleased with the products we make, so we're excited. We travel north to the hamlet of Prospect, founded in 1803. We headed north because we heard of a great chemistry happening between two local businesses. The first is Prospect Falls Winery on Academy Street, 
crafting wine since 2014. Nick Keblish and his wife Margaret wanted to combine winemaking with Adirondack charm and local craftsmanship. Grassy cows smokes their own cheeses over there and we got talking to them one day and said, I save all my oat chips when we age our red wines. I save my dry them. So I said, would you mind trying some of this? And they said, no, we would. So they tried some and um, it's amazing how the smoke from the cheeses and the smokiness of the red wines just blend together perfectly. I call it seamless when you try them. Uh, you don't taste the smoke, you don't taste the wine. It just, it's seamless. It's just a perfect combination. In the summertime, we get uh, a lot of out-of-state customers coming through. They're heading up, heading east, and they're not taking the interstates. They're taking the back roads down 365. Uh, we're only 20 minutes out of Utica, but they just, you know, they like the back roads. They want to get off the interstates. Uh, the other thing we're doing is the Adirondack Scenic Railroad. We're supplying the wine for the train this year. Every, uh, every two weeks, we're truckload of wine goes down to the train for their Friday night wine train. What keeps me doing this is just the people coming in here to see us every week. Uh, I enjoy being behind the bar, talking to the people. They want to hear about our wines. They just love the fact that we're a local winery. Again, we're only 20 minutes out of Utica, Herkimer, Rome, short drive. People think we're up north another hour. We're not. We're very short. Uh, they enjoy our wines. If we have time, we're more than glad to take them behind the other side, show them what's going on, how we make wine. It's just a great time. I enjoy it. Just up the road is Grassy Cow Dairy on Prospect Road in Remsen. Leon and Angela Atwell added a creamery to their farm in 2014 and made their first batch of cheese in 2015. Now they have a full line of cheeses, including a new cheese that is smoked with Prospect Falls Winery wood chips. We've been making cheese since April of 2014. Um, we started last year, two years ago, we started um, aging some um, farmstead cheddar style cheese. And now we are flavoring those, those uh, cheeses. We have things like spicy red pepper. We have um, some wine some wine cheese that we have infused some wine into the cheddar curds. We make fresh cheese curd every Thursday. It is ready by one o'clock. Um, we have about 20 different flavors of, um, that we, we rotate every week. Um, you can get an email from us every week if you'd like to know what flavors we're making or if you have a request, we will certainly try to do what we can to make the flavor you like best. And, uh, we have many people coming right to our store and we have a lot of different little stores around the area that are now carrying our curd. It has been a treat, really. It's a treat to, to have customers come to our place and to actually just, they can't wait for the fresh cheese curd. Um, we've had a lot of new acquaintances. We've um, done a lot of education for you know schools. We've gone and talked to schools and that kind of thing. Um, and we've learned so much marketing you know it's one thing to be able to make the cheese and it's another thing to be able to sell it and and all those kinds of things it's been a lot of fun you work hard here in the mohawk valley you make a difference you leave your mark you deserve a financial advisor who works to make a difference for your future. We work together for you. Investing for retirement, college, thinking about your legacy. Our team is dedicated to giving you straightforward answers for your financial decisions. We pride ourselves on being local, prudent, and trustworthy. For you, Van Meter and Van Meter, for your financial future. Trust your personal, business, and life insurance planning to a local company with over 150 years of serving the community. Turn to Turnbull Insurance. Call today to see what we can do for your family or business. 735-9201 or visit turnbull-insurance.com. The Steet Ponte Auto Group is proud to bring Mohawk Valley Living to you each week. 
serving the Utica area and the Valley with outstanding customer service. In Yorkville at Steet Ponte Ford Lincoln Mazda, Steet Ponte Volkswagen, and Steet Toyota Scion. And in Herkimer at Steet Ponte Chevrolet. Stop in and see why it's so easy to do business with Steet Ponte. Your news, talk, and sports authority. Talk Radio, AM 1450, WKAL, Rome, Utica. Welcome to the Little Falls Antique Center in the shops at 25 West. Come on in and browse thousands of unique items that change on a daily basis. Shop for yourself or for someone else. We're open every day from 10 to 5. We look forward to your visit here at Historic Canal Place in Little Falls. Dr. Tucheron of Associated Chiropractic would like to introduce a new triple play treatment program consisting of non-surgical disc decompression, MLS robotic laser therapy, and Interex pain relief therapy. Triple play treatment is surgery free and drug free. This program is setting a new standard in the treatment of severe spinal conditions. If you suffer from any of these conditions, you could be a candidate for this life-saving therapy. Call Dr. Tucheron of Associated Chiropractic today to schedule your free consultation and see if this therapy is right for you. When you shop Meelan's Market, you'll be the grill master. That's because every hot dog, beef patty, and sausage is made by Bob Meelan himself. Find everything for your next cookout from store-made meats to fresh salads and tabbouleh at Meelan's Market at the Four Corners in Clark Mills. We visit the historic village of Richfield Springs, known to the Oneidas as Ganawangas, which means stinking water but these medicinal waters attracted travelers. And by the turn of the last century, Richfield Springs was the fashionable destination of the rich and famous. Today, the Richfield Springs Historic Association and Museum is a treasure trove of artifacts. We learn a little about a lot of local history from museum manager and local artist, Bob Hazelton. Uh, 1861 is the official date, I understand. And uh, it was because of the Sulphur Springs. Dr. Horace Manley out of uh, Fairfield, New York, came down and decided that they could use this for medicinal purposes. Although the Indians were using it before we were around, they had this called Brimstone Swamp because they had mud, bro mud areas flooded over with sulfur and stuff like that. But they, the Indians went down along the Butternut Road area so they wouldn't have to come down into the swamp. They went down Butternut Road to get to the lake to fish. But Mr. Dr. Horace Manley is the one that started it out for us. So what happened um, with, with the medicinal waters? Who did that attract here to the area? Well, it brought in a lot of the distinguished people. Uh, Thomas Edison, the McCormick family came in here, Teddy Roosevelt, and Teddy Roosevelt's family, part of it was up on the Church Street area. Uh, on 167, but they came up on the Hudson River or they came in by railroad and they could come up in the railroad from down near Gilbertsville or they could come in the Mohawk Valley and they stage coaches to get into Richfield Springs. I came rolling down the hill Down into the Mohawk Valley We go back further in time to the mid-1700s and early 1800s at Butternut Barn Primitives on Butternut Road. Owner Julie Stone has owned and operated the shop for 41 years this month. It is located in a carriage house circa 1848. We're in an old two-story carriage house and I opened it because everyone was, I was selling real estate at the time and everyone was having problems getting money and things weren't going through and all my friends said, you should open a shop. You're always making things to give to people. So when we started out, we did more in the handmade things. Well, we evolved because we bought antique pieces to display the handmade things and then people began to want to buy the old things so and that's kind of our first love anyways so we decided we best just continue to add a little more and a little more and eventually we got to what we what you're seeing today and 
do some shows and things like that too. Well, when I say early, I mean around the 1800s, so I always tell people you maybe feel like you're stuck back in time when you enter the shop. <laughs> they like all of the old things, the, the boxes and chests and cupboards. Cupboards are hard to find just now, so a lot of people are out looking for cupboards for their places. And then in the things that are handmade, the candles, which I was mentioning earlier, are very popular. But we do all of the self-sculpture things, and my daughter makes a lot of wooden things. She does most of the decorating because it's her, her thing. <laughs> so why do people want old things? What is the appeal? The appeal is it sort of gives you a peaceful, quiet feeling. Some lady was just telling me the other day that she has a really nice collection of old things, but she lets her teenagers do whatever they want in their bedrooms. But when she thought about it, they come down to the dining room to do their homework, and she figures they don't realize it, but that they're coming to the peacefulness and quiet that the dining room with all its antiques offers them. To see what we can see Traveling round the Mohawk Valley Let's see if you're looking to spruce up your yard and gardens, just take a short hop down Route 28, less than a mile south of Richfield Springs, to the popular Melinda's Garden Barn. It's definitely a family affair, as Melinda introduces us to many of her family members wearing bright green work shirts, and the official greeter, Bailey, in a green bandana. Uh, we built the building. We started this in 2001. We opened in 2002 and it stemmed from a small landscaping and lawn care business. I just uh, was working as a, uh, a different job years ago and I did not like my job, so I just decided to go ahead and start one up. I just love doing physical labor. I love the flowers. I love the growing end of it. I love planting. Uh, there was nothing here originally. It was a bare piece of property. Uh, actually, there, we started with three very, very small greenhouses and over the past 16 years, we've grown to um, a lot more. We grow all our annuals, 90% are all grown here on premises. We carry trees, shrubs, perennials, uh, vegetable plants, bedding plants, hanging baskets, uh, full bulk mulch, uh, screen top soil compost, and mushroom compost. Uh, my husband helps here a lot. He is, has his own business also, so I do bring him in as much as I can. My mother-in-law, Angie, um, her friend, Pete, my dad, Bernie, who is here all the time. Uh, he's a lifesaver. And I have wonderful girls that have worked for me for years, Sheila, Laurel, and new girl, Allison, this year, who is also phenomenal. And my full-time greeter is Bailey. She is the Garden Barn greeter. She just loves everybody. So come on out and meet Bailey. This year, I wanna be I'm making this baby. Steet Ponte Auto Group is proud to bring Mohawk Valley Living to you each week, serving the Utica area and the Valley with outstanding customer service. In Yorkville at Steet Ponte Ford Lincoln Mazda, Steet Ponte Volkswagen, and Steet Toyota Scion. And in Herkimer at Steet Ponte Chevrolet. Stop in and see why it's so easy to do business with Steet Ponte. Trust your personal, business, and life insurance planning to a local company with over 150 years of serving the community. Turn to Turnbull Insurance. Call today to see what we can do for your family or business. 735-9201 or visit turnbull-insurance.com. This summer, explore Little Falls. Third Thursday, June 21st, enjoy Art Walk with art displays, live music, including Opus Black String Quartet and children's activities all day. And don't miss the exciting Corning Glass Barge coming to Little Falls Marina June 30th to July 1st. And save the date for the fabulous Little Falls Cheese Festival Saturday, July 14th. It's all happening in Little Falls. Shop the 3,000 square feet spilling over with antiques at the Potting Shed. Specializing in American coins, costume jewelry, and fine jewelry. As well as early lighting, stoneware, china, and furniture. The Potting Shed, over 40 years in the same location at 52 Oriskany Boulevard in Whitesboro.
Make any day a special day and a special day even better with fresh baked pastries and cookies from Cafe Caruso on Bleecker Street in East Utica. Stop in or call ahead for special orders. The people you know, the rock you love, and more songs per hour. 92.7 FM, The Drive, Central New York's locally owned independent rock station. What's so special at 69 Steakhouse? The staff is friendly. The food is excellent. The people. The The awesome greens. I love the sirloin medallions. My favorite, I have to say, is the prime pork. It's cooked to perfection. The vegetables are perfect. Ah, uh, Riggies. <laughs> the portobello mushroom. Oh. Awesome. 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 Very good. The service is great. Beers are cheap and friends are plentiful. 69 Steakhouse, where everyone loves to eat out. Dr. Tucherone of Associated Chiropractic would like to introduce a new triple play treatment program consisting of non-surgical disc decompression, MLS robotic laser therapy, and Interex pain relief therapy. Triple play treatment is surgery-free and drug-free. This program is setting a new standard in the treatment of severe spinal conditions. If you suffer from any of these conditions, you could be a candidate for this life-saving therapy. Call Dr. Tucherone of Associated Chiropractic today to schedule your free consultation and see if this therapy is right for you. If you haven't had your fill of history in Richfield Springs, head straight up Route 28 to Herkimer and the Herkimer County Historical Society, located at the historic Four Corners on North Main Street. The museum has a couple of brand new exhibits to explore this summer. We have a new exhibit, Women's Suffrage in Herkimer County. We cover the national timeline and we have the Herkimer County timeline. Uh, we also have a board that shows the women who signed the petition to get the right to vote. And it was carried in Saratoga in August of that year at the convention at Saratoga Springs. The other exhibit is World War I, Herkimer County's involvement in that. We have one room that ch talks about the war itself and the men who went to war. We also have a room that's on the home defense, Herkimer County's home defense. Uh, it tells about um, what they did at home. The women were involved with the American Red Cross. They did knit goods, they made bandages. Okay, we're open Monday through Friday, and please come down and see our new exhibits and revisit the old exhibits. And we also have dollhouses on the second floor. What it is singing Honey, honey, I got to know you Ain't got no money, but I got plenty to show you Honey, honey, meet me on the river road Chee Chee Raposo got a head like a bean he steers a T-bird like you never seen Picks up the young ones at the Dairy Queen Saying hop on in now Cause I 